today we're going to be drawing some boxes and I'm going to be doing another little um, short tutorial on how to do one point perspective. So you're going to need a ruler, a pencil and an eraser. Now I can't find my ordinary eraser so now it's gone missing so I'm going to be using the pencil eraser. Anything will do, any old eraser because there is a lot of erasing to do in these perspective tutorials. First thing we do, we draw a horizon line. Now the horizon line is where the sky meets the ground. That's what we call the horizon line. And then we're going to put in our vanishing point. Now, a vanishing point, now this is a good example here where Mr. Otter, she shows us how a horizon line works. So you got your horizon there, and you got your vanishing point here. So you got a road coming like this, and they all go towards that vanishing point. And it could be like a hill there or whatever, tunnel. And you got your sun up here. So that's how it is. It's only a little box. That's what this is about. How to draw in one point perspective. Where it's where all the lines converge on one spot, right there. All right, so we've got our horizon line there, and we'll just put a finishing point right there. Up here, we'll draw a box. And you don't have to use it all to do this, you can do it freehand. I mean, all it is is a couple of horizontal lines and a couple of vertical lines, isn't it? All right, there. So we've got one line, one box above the horizon line, one box on the horizon line, and we'll have one box below the horizon line. It took me a long time to work out perspective. I didn't even know that such a thing existed. <laughs> you know, I was draw, trying to draw houses and that, and I couldn't figure out how you look at something if it's say six foot there and over here it should be six foot as well but it don't work that way perspective because it's moving away from you it's called perspective anyway without getting you too confused I'm going to draw a line from there from that corner from that corner to the vanishing point from that corner to the vanishing point and this one here the one on the horizon line, from that corner to the vanishing point, from that corner to the vanishing point. And the one down here, below the horizon line, that corner to the vanishing point, that corner to the vanishing point, there. Right, so what you've got, let me rub that out just so it's not confusing, is you've got a square, well not a square yet, but you've got a box above the horizon, on the horizon and below it. So now the next thing we do, is you make it as big as you want we've got to do a, a, a line that's parallel to that one so just move it across slowly same here move it down just slide it down slowly till it meets up and the same here just move it along as, to whatever distance you want but it's got to be parallel to that line so we just move it across slowly Here, let's move it up, slide it up slowly. Okay, now we'll rub out the, the lines. So we've got three floating, three dimensional boxes. Brush away the crumb. See, that's why it's important to use light lines because you know you gotta rub them out. Right? As I said, mine are always a bit darker so you can see a bit easier, a bit clearer. Now, let's say, for example, the light source is coming from this angle here. So, therefore, that side will be light. This side is going to be the darkest. Now, I'm using the cross hatching here. That's going to be a little bit dark, but not dark. It's just a light, it's called a medium tone. So you got dark, light, and medium. Because underneath is going to be the darkest. Now, the one on the horizon line, you can only see two sides. This one on the top, you can see three sides. So, this side's going to be light, and it's only going to be this side that's dark. So we're sort of doing two, killing two birds with one stone here. We'll <laughs> excuse the, the phrase there, one point perspective drawing. But I'm also showing you where the shade would be 
how it comes about from the light source. That'll be the darkest. Cross hatching. Let me have a go over the line. We rub that out. Now this one, uh, we've got three sides, one, two, three. Now this one here is going to be the medium tone because we'll be getting a little bit of light. It's further away from the others, so it is getting a little bit of shadow. And this will be the darkest. It's what some people to refer to as values. You have a dark value, a medium value, and a light value. It's really just tones, shades. Actually, I'm going to make that one a bit different. We've already done that, so jump the gun a bit there we're going to make this into like a pipe we're going to make it even more three dimensional keep the lines parallel to the you know to this across there there all the way around and once again we go to the vanishing point through to there now because that one's quite a long way away the well hang on might be able to get it yeah but just there like that and then there just enough to catch just the edge of it all right so that's obviously going to be dark in there i don't really like that pencil it's something a bit darker You get the idea. Tidy this up a bit. Now, that's all there is to it. So if you're looking at something that's above the horizon line, you'll see underneath it and the sides. Something eye level straight at the horizon line, you'll see two sides. Earth is in perspective, of course. And an object that's below the horizon line, you will see three sides as well but from a different perspective. You're looking, you can see the top. This one, you can see the bottom. Well, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Now, don't go away just yet, because if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna enjoy this one here next.